Stacy, the driver of the car that hit two Capitol Police officers while trying to speed through a security checkpoint, now identified as a 25-year-old man with recent ties to Indiana. FBI agents and D.C. police investigators now poring over his history, according to law enforcement sources, looking for clues as to what triggered today's attack. We need to obviously understand the motivation uh, behind this uh, senseless act, uh, so the Metropolitan Police Department will certainly be doing that. The driver of the dark sedan is identified by law enforcement sources cited by the AP as 25-year-old Noah Green, who had lived for a time in Indianapolis, according to public records. Court documents obtained tonight by the I-Team reveal that in December, he filed for a name change from Noah Green to Noah Zaim Muhammad. The name change dismissed, according to these court records, on March 30th when Green failed to appear in court. The suspect rammed his car uh, into two of our officers and then hit the North Barricade Barrier. At such time, the suspect exited the vehicle with a knife in hand. Our officers then engaged that suspect. Uh, he did not respond to verbal commands. Uh, the suspect did start lunging toward U.S. Capitol Police officers, at which, at which time uh, U.S. Capitol Police officers fired upon the suspect. At this time, uh, the suspect has been pronounced uh, deceased. That suspect, Green, was born in Virginia and living there most recently. The officer who died in the attack, William Billy Evans, an 18-year veteran who was also assigned to the department's first responders unit. Even though the threat was limited to one man, according to investigators, National Guard troopers were deployed to Capitol Hill, a quick reaction team that brought back memories of January 6th when insurrectionists stormed the Capitol. Federal agents and D.C. Metro detectives are trying to find what investigators call pedigree information on the suspect, Noah Green. They're talking with his friends and family members, attempting to determine the level of planning that may have gone into today's attack, whether anyone knew about it ahead of time. They will also examine his electronic footprint, online accounts and social media posts, as well as look at his mental health history, all aimed at finding an answer to the question.